both been transparent about all our operations. Uh, I set the info center booth, uh, slid that sound from the mall, and people were just coming in and asking questions about what they were seeing. Because that, the location was pretty close to the park, and I'm sure most of you in the room were aware and saw it. I probably didn't know what the heck was going on because it was the first well in that area. Um, we've also strategically partnered and, and have a joint venture with Huntley. Huntley, who's been operating and operating wells and working with us uh, in this area for a very long time. Um, we have four locations currently, and some of you might be surprised to hear that in this area, uh, 20, for about 20 wells that we're already producing from the drill completed and already flowing gas. Um, this, these operations in this area, as Rich already mentioned, are going to continue uh, with or without this lease. We really want to, and, and obviously we're here talking, we, we find this lease important. We want to work with, with the county on this and work with the community on this. But this is an area of interest of ours, and we're going to continue to drill wells. Um, we've had a similar partnership with another county park. And, and uh, Washington, Washington County, where most of our operations are, we actually drill in Crossbreak County Park. Let me, let me clarify today, tonight's discussion is about a lease that will be uh, for a non surface lease outside of the park. So, no operations, no surface to service, no pipelines as it relates to our operations in, in this region. But we've, we've uh, successfully drilled over 30 wells in a county park in Washington County. Um, we partnered early and, and worked really hard uh, with, with the, the local governments down there in the community. And uh, it's an abundant success. We've done really well down there. Things have gone really well. Um, and, and what we were able to do is work on spot locations, uh, figure out where we, where we can run pipelines, where, which roads we can use, which roads we need to bond but also making sure the public, which is you, are not disturbed by our operations. So we were able to put those locations in certain areas where whoever wanted to go fish or, or go for a walk or go for a picnic, they're, they're not seeing our operations. And that's our goal here is the same thing. We're going to be outside the park. We're not going to intrude into the park and allow uh, our operations, whether it's trucks or, or lights, uh, you know, it, it, it's here or anything you do want to do with the public in, in the park. Um, but those operations in Cross Creek have positively changed that park uh, for, for generations to come. Uh, the, the benefits of our operations are allowing them to do new projects, which I, which I believe uh, Allegheny County's um, already visited uh, the, the, the county commissioners in Washington County about the subject matter. And I commend you for going down there and talking to those guys and actually seeing it. And if anybody um, wants to see our operations, see what drilling our park looks like, please go down to Crossbreak County Park. Okay? It's, a, it's a wonderful story. Um, we, we have a video of that on our website, but if you're really interested, I'd say make a drive down 79, take about a half hour. It's a wonderful park. You, you will be hard pressed to see any, any trace of our operations. Um, so I'm going to jump now to my last third part of my talk. It's a little general over the process. So, Getting these wells permitted and drilled takes about two years. Um, so starting with planning and spotting the location takes, takes about two years. We have engineers and scientists working on those projects um, and, and, and laying out best practices, where we're going to do this, how we're going to water, what roads we're going to use. So that's a, that's a long process. So before we can do anything, as Rich mentioned, we're going to do water, uh, water tests. So we're going we're to do three <coughs> water tests uh, of, of, the, of the area uh, before we can even move dirt. Uh, once we're approved, you've got to move from state, uh, local, uh, county government, and in the community. Uh, we're going to be able to start moving dirt and build a location. Um, from there, uh, we, we will then go to location. Uh, a drilling rig comes in. It takes about three weeks to four weeks per well uh, on, on that process. I know a lot of you may think that rig's going to stay there forever. It's only there temporarily. So we're drilling a couple of wells. We'll be in and out of the rig in a couple of months, at uh, most three months or so. Um, after that, we then bring in our high level pressure. So that is the probably most intense portion of the operation, but it's the most brief portion of the operation. So each well takes about two to three days per well to, to hydraulically fracture. Um, but once again, we are going to committed to working with the county, committed to working with the community, committed to working with the townships on logistics, planning, I'm sorry, also the school districts. Uh, we are committed to getting all those logistics laid out two years in advance, talking about all those, all those uh, uh, hurdles we have in planning to make sure your lives are not impacted by what we're doing. Um, 
final stage is in some production. Uh, we have pipelines already in the area. Uh, we have existing facilities in that we can already use. Uh, we will need to run probably some small connecting pipelines, but we're going to try to reduce our surface of that as much as we can by using existing facilities. Um, the last thing I want to leave everybody with is we did, we know this is a park. Uh, we're not going to be drilling the park. Our operations are not going to be part. We understand this is a special project. Um, we're we're going to do everything we possibly can to, to work, with, work with the county, work with the community, work with the local governors, work with the school districts to, to meet everybody's satisfactions and, and hopefully exceed those satisfactions. That way, this is a, a big win for everybody. It's a big win for Allegheny County. Uh, and we have the experience. We drilled in a park with no, no hiccups, no real issues. We, we work together, we talk about this stuff, and we plan properly. So our experience in, in, in the region around here already, and our experience in other county parks, uh, have, have put us in a good position, and a good work relationship with the county is really important. So thank you for, for, for listening. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing everybody's comments. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Jerry? Thank you, Jerry. 
Barrow, you're one of the West End supervisors. And this is a very important issue to West End. It's actually important enough that our entire board of supervisors meet this evening. If all supervisors can just stand and show that you're here, it's important. Um, Thank you, Dallas, for your for the men and women for your support here this evening. Thank you. So the, the drilling, one of the drilling is going to occur is not the issue here. That is, that is going to occur at this time. So the only issue is really, is the county going to be involved in this? Well, if the answer is no to the least, then what we have protecting the citizens of our, our county and our area here are the state guidelines. And I think many people here would agree that those might be a little fall short of what we would like to see. So if the county approves this lease, one of the things we get out of that is the county can then set many standards. And the lease goes well above and beyond what we would expect to see from the state. Um, we also need repairs to this park. Many of the structures in the park at this time, if there are private structures in West here, we would probably condemn them and have them demolished. This is the point where we have an opportunity to really improve our park to the citizens in the community. Road improvements are also another major factor. We saw this when they put the well in Frazier just above the Mills Hall. Um, I believe that was rain wells as well over there. They did an excellent job in rebuilding the roads before they started repairing them and then leaving them afterwards in a great condition. Many townships around here just don't have the money for the type of repair and rebuild that, that we see necessary. Are there some hazards in this? Of course, it's an industrial process. There are some hazards. But if we have the county on board as well watching over this, that will help mitigate many of those hazards and make it much uh, safer for our citizens. As far as our citizens go, uh, since most of the land in the northern part of West Deer is under contract for drilling, I think that speaks immediately to the support of the citizens of West Deer for this. I've also walked door to door to most of that northern part of West Deer and have found that people, with almost without exception, are in favor of drilling and what can turn back to our community. So the real question that comes out of this is do we use resources that we as citizens of Allegheny County own to help improve our surrounding area? And I say yes. Thank you, Supervisor. Let me just say this. I moved into a kind of situation two years ago, 
and we have leases, as you said, from Cross Creek Park, 2,800 uh, uh, acres of park area. When I came in office two years ago, we actually had 21 sites that were already agreed to. We actually worked with range resources and we reduced that down to seven sites, multiple wells on sites. The impact on the park was really limited. And since then, and by the way, we've since then we've leased under our county fairgrounds. We leased under the Panhandle Trail. No drilling people drilling in some distance. And we're also going to be signing agreements now with the airport. And we have a Mingo Park, which is basically really a, a center of Washington for trails and everything. They're drilling next door to us anyway, and we're going to be leasing the company there. And, and what's that mean financially? Yeah, you can always talk about money. $13 million has come out of our leases for the county so far since we started leasing over the last couple of years. I, what do we do with the money? I think this is very important. I saw some of the signs out there on the parks. So we have put half of our revenues from the park right back into the park. Cross Street, we visited. We have put boating docks in. We put new access in. We have walking trail, restrooms, playgrounds. We could have done that talking to Lisa, my director of Parks and Recreation, the other planning. She could have done these things, but we've actually given the money. We have a trail being built by the company. Instead of us going in, they can do it cheaper and that's part of our agreement. The bottom line is we've put the money back into the areas. We have a number of parks and money to put throughout the county. Uh, I think one thing you just say when you make a decision, the trail is coming, we're not stopping, and I know, but I think distance is always an issue. When you have distance between any operations and with Somebody was killed, but all the surrounding areas, this is around. And this is a safety. But I'm here just to say it's been a good experience for us. Uh, we're moving forward with the money back into the town. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. Next we have our county commissioner, Joe Spann. Joe, appreciate you coming from, from Beaver County. And our next speaker after that will be Jack Shea. I've been a county commissioner for 10 years in Beaver County. And, and you understand what we as elected officials have to do. There's priorities that people come up to us and, and why is that not enough? Second, do great job. Third is don't raise your taxes. Fourth is provide all the services that are needed within your community. And fifth is making sure the health and safety of our community and our residents is more important. Now, we're kind of in the same position as county executives should because we're the one with those private banks on the field. And that creates a lot of other issues that come up with us. But I can tell you, as, as a county official, we have got our solicitors and everybody working on to make sure, working with those companies, that the environment and the safety and health and welfare of our citizens are protected. But when you take a look at this, this proposal, in fact, we have 2,500 acres that hasn't been leased yet. In fact, tomorrow we have a couple of proposals before us to talk about leasing. And if Ray would like to join them, I'd be glad to have the same type of offer you call for County Executive Carol, because it is such a great deal. And we do at least every day. And the fact that these decisions have to be made, sometimes they're tough decisions, decisions to be made. And sometimes we try to get the most win-win out of it for everybody's concern. So when you're talking about the type of proposal that the County Executive and the County Council have that you have on your subsurface, and the type of money you're relevant, when you're talking about your budgets, when you're going to look at your budget and the services you've got to provide, when you come down to recreation and parks, I think a couple of the speakers said sometimes that's on the bottom of the list. You don't have that type of resources. To, to be able to get that from a private entity, provide that type of resources, to put in some type of parks and recreation for your citizens, to make your, your community a better place to live, work, and play, this is one of the things that's very doable right now because you have a lot of developers here in this area because of the rich natural gas that is in the ground. It's been here for a long time. The way they do fracking now, the way they do drilling has created another boom. If anybody understands in southwestern Pennsylvania, we've been part of the steel mill industries. If anybody understands the Beaver County, Allegheny County, and a lot of other counties, we have faced a declining population and declining job oper operations. This is what we call an industrial revolution. And when we're talking about not worrying about the Middle Eastern oil and worrying about gas prices, gas now has created the opportunity for this country to rebound itself. 
And when we talk about the job opportunities that are out there, when your son and daughter send them off to school and get educated and find out what type of jobs there are here in the county, you find you're not staying here. This is an opportunity to bring your fellow children, the future of your children, back home here to be able to quit. But I, I caution to do it in a safe and friendly environmental way. It can't be done. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Next speaker, next speaker is Jack Shea, president of the Allegheny County Labor Council.
as with the airport, the county has done due diligence in exploring all the potential revenue benefits that can be gained through the extraction of natural gas. In this time of austerity and government cutbacks, uh, the additional funds that the county can receive and hopefully hold the line on additional, additional tax increases. Um, in the case of the, the park, I feel that the lease um, is extremely fair with a bonus of four plus million dollars, 18% more than the fee. Uh, plus the uh, additional environmental safeguards uh, is, is a fantastic, uh, fantastic deal for the county, all with absolutely zero impact on the park itself. As a person who uses the park uh, on a daily basis, uh, I'm very excited about the potential improvements that can be made utilizing the revenue uh, from the extraction of gas. I see every day the same thing everybody else does, the dilapidated buildings, crying trails on the ground, uh, a general year-by-year -year erosion of the park's quality. Um, I've witnessed this for decades. With the infusion of gas royalty in the park, Deer Lake Park stands to benefit much like Cross Creek Park in Washington County, which has poured millions of dollars into new, new facilities over the last few years. Um, in closing, after paying the benefits of the project, I would urge the County Council to move forward with the development of the project and offsite extraction of gas from the park. The project represents a distinct benefit to the people who use the park facilities, much needed revenue to the county and local township government, and hopefully be a model of what's possible when we look at maximizing the economic benefit to a resource we all Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gore.
Uh, while control experts will be on site whenever there's scrubbing operations, and the local fire departments will receive enhanced training and equipment. Noise and light restrictions will protect the local community and Wagner Observatory. Truck traffic will be limited on school bus routes, and the companies will be required to fix and maintain the county roads used and our area to bring us to do the same for local communities. Most of all, there will be absolutely no surface disturbance in any part of the park. Let me emphasize that none of these protections will be in place without the police, yet drilling will take place. This agreement also brings significant revenue and will guarantee that money available for maintaining and improving the park. This is also vital. I grew up on fire from here, and in one of my first jobs, I delivered flowers to Russell two and three times. Oh, wait. Um, I go to Creek Deer Lakes Park, I know this area, and frankly, broke my heart as I drove through Russellton to see what's happening in the community. The county park is pristine, and it hasn't been improved and maintained. We'll be able to take care of that park, and this green will bring jobs and financial benefits to the community, so we can once again have small businesses along the road in Russellton and throughout the community. In short, this agreement is a win, 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 win. Provide advanced environmental protections, major financial benefits, and good paying jobs, all the while protecting the park. Without the agreement, we gain nothing and risk everything. We risk real environmental harm and community problems. I strongly urge council to approve the lease, which is a model that other Pennsylvania municipalities should follow. Thank you, Ms. Clark.
Um, so I urge you as County Council to approve this lease. Um, I know it's going to happen whether you approve it or not, which is amazing to me on this argument. This is happening on private property. Why would you walk away from everything that this lease brings in the safety and the water and everything the riches put in it, uh, in it for us? Um, anyway, one more thing I want to say. Uh, the job fairs. Thank you for that because that's one thing we have found in the industry. I also encourage you as council, if you do approve this, to make sure that the industry is putting Pennsylvania residents into these jobs. Um, we just placed a few people last week. We have uh, about four years out in the field now, and we do get reports back that there are still a number of people from out of town. So maybe that's not why our state is not seeing our employment uh, you know, go up. It, it, I don't understand that, that part of it. Um, and what's next to come is a lot if our government and if we all stop fighting this. And if we don't stop fighting it, then these plants and these manufacturing, they're all going to be in the states around us. The industry will not stop. Ohio will get the business, West Virginia will get the business, everybody around us will get these plants, these manufacturing companies, and we want them. But they're clearly under our government. It seems only like one side that tries to shut people down. Let them speak. We're going to let both sides speak. Thank you. Um, I really don't have anything else to say except that please do your homework. I did a lot of research on this, and a lot of what folks are saying out here isn't even factual. Oh, oh,
all we have to tell you here, I do want to thank him and his company because what they did in Clareton, uh, as he mentioned, I just want to reiterate for the first time, every single air monitor in Allegheny County came under the BM 2.5 since the Industrial Revolution. It's an amazing thing. Opening up a, a, a new steel mill in, in uh, Eastport, employing over 200 steel workers that make pipe for this industry. We really appreciate it. Matt Peters, followed by Dan Lewis. Peters.